hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you guys a fun easy healthy dog birthday cake recipe um yeah like i said it's pretty simple and it's fun to make so i hope you guys enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you did and comment below how your cake turned out thank you for watching and enjoy I'm gonna go ahead and drop the ingredients below and everything that you'll be needing to uh, recreate this recipe at home. Keep in mind some of the ingredients are optional and you know you can add in your dog's favorite treats or their favorite fruits to substitute um, some items. So as you can see here I am beginning shredding the carrots. I have already um, pre-cut the bananas and now I will begin mashing them. Now I'm going to go ahead and add one scrambled egg. Now mix the egg thoroughly with the bananas and here you can add the fresh water to the banana and egg mixture and just mix it up a little bit now we're gonna go ahead and combine all of our dry ingredients which is the three cups of oats and one tablespoon of baking powder once you've added that you can go ahead and mix that together now um, I'm gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of peanut butter and mix that with the carrots as well and you want to make sure you get all of those you know shredded carrots okay make sure you have a good spoon to mix with and now you can go ahead and add the wet ingredients to the dry mixture As you can see before I was using a whisk and it wasn't the best choice so I did switch to a regular spoon. Now I am going to add the mixture to these pans. I got these pans from Dollar Tree so they're very inexpensive and they're the perfect size for this specific cake. And this is what it should look like. I also did spray the pans with some um, pan cooking spray. So that the cake wouldn't stick to the pan. Now after you've preheated your oven to 350 degrees you can go ahead and add the mini cakes and let them bake for about 20 to 30 minutes. I started off at 20 and then I checked them and I realized that they needed 10 more minutes to bake. So here I'm cutting up the fruits that are going to serve as toppings. And now I'm going to go ahead and layer the peanut butter on the first layer of cake. And yes, this is what the cake came out looking like after 30 minutes in the oven. Alright, so I layered the peanut butter. On top, I'm going to actually add cottage cheese. Some people use Greek yogurt. Um, but I chose to use cottage cheese that um, I researched and feed my dogs frequently. Uh, it is a safe ingredient for dogs, so I just decided to use that because I did run out of Greek yogurt. So here I am adding the Greek yogurt, I'm sorry, the cottage cheese. And I got one of those, um, what do you call those things? Um... Oh, I forgot the name of it, but you know what I mean, the little decoration thingy, and I put the peanut butter, I decorated the peanut butter, um, you can freestyle whatever type of design you want to do. I added apples 
on the top as well as bananas and strawberries and I'm using the sliced strawberries to make it more cute on the edges <laughs> and with the leftover toppings I'm just gonna layer them on the bottom of the pan just to make it look cute for the pictures and my dogs really love fruit so I'm sure they'll be eating most of those fruits fruit toppings <laughs> So I also got these two little um, birthday candles from Dollar Tree and this is what it looks like. So yeah guys that's pretty much the turnout. Um, as you can see my main toppings were strawberries, peanut butter, um, apples and bananas. I also added some whipped cream on top but like I said you know you're more than welcome to freestyle your toppings just make sure they are safe for dogs I hope you enjoyed and like I said comment below if you try this recipe thank you so much for watching and subscribe bye bye